Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 73 of Let's Play Nami Land Legendary Edition. Alright, here we go. Let's finish this. Koro! I can't see much from here. We've got to get even closer if we want to find Ceres. I don't know if that's such a good idea, Fina. There! Looks- oh. <laughs> there looks to be- sorry, there should have been a comma after there if that was how I was going to be pronouncing it. Um, there looks to be some temporal anomalies near that Guardian. Another reason to stay away, don't you think? With all due respect, Miss Velvet, what difference is one more reckless move on our part? Yes, I see your point. Well, Kuro? Well, no, well, Kuro should make the final call. Shall we go? Yes. I think it would have been safer with the pirates after all. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So we've got sort of like a Mega Man-esque... I, I, Mega Man, at least to me, it's the only thing I can really relate to what's going on here, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, basically you're part of, you're like on this flying machine. You can also dismount, so like this. And yeah, and then to mount up again you just press uh, X twice to like do a double jump basically. Uh, this goes for quite some time. <laughs> they uh, they really didn't, <laughs> they were like, hey, that's the, <laughs> it's like, hey boss, how long do you want to make that final stage? Ah, uh, like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, you're the boss, boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it goes for a while. Um, well, I say 10 minutes, well, let's say it took me a minute to get to actually start it, so we'll try and remember to see how long it takes because, you know, that's important, so. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we can use Fina's ability or anyone's ability, really, just to... Uh, when the wind starts to push you a lot, you can actually, strangely, dismount and then you can kind of, like, run against the wind, which is really odd, but yeah. Even the experience, I might actually be able to level again. This final area is like, I guess, supposed, like, it might level you, you know what I mean? Um, depending on, like, well, I, would, I was gonna say depending on what level you are, but seeing as um, I was doing that training in the, uh, in the Colosseum, it really didn't feel like, you know, the further you got, the more experience you got. I think it was literally just kind of like a number thing where you know, three or four diamonds will give you like a little segment and make you move move further in the in the level bar. All right, cool. Ah, so it's finally coming to an end. I don't I don't think it's going to finish this episode, but it'll be next next one. And uh, I can finally move on to another game. And we all know what game it is. It's going to be Sekiro. I'll mention it again when we finish this. But um, yeah, I'm really excited because I'm having a lot of fun playing it. And uh, it's definitely, I think it was definitely a wise move, at least on my part, to, for my sanity to, um, to sort of, you gotta use uh, Menos here to destroy that rock. And if you don't, you're gonna die. Um, yeah, well, it was a wise part of my move to, um, to give myself a bit more time to, to do that game because I was really burnt out, but now I'm like really into it. Whew, my head started to hurt, I think I'm putting too much into this episode. <laughs> nah. Oh, I do feel weird though. Ouch. Hmm. Alright, these guys here, like, they're actually quite hard to kill. They take, like, a lot of hits. On the PlayStation, it's not that bad. On, um, on the phone, they were really hard to beat because you just had to, like, I can't remember. Yeah, you had to spam, like, the button in the bottom right-hand corner, but with the way the controls were in general, it was just difficult. To, I guess position your hands in that way. It was only just like holding it, but for some reason I found it more challenging. Here it's okay. Make sure to hit these like blood pustules. Well, oh, almost died. Because <laughs> uh, they they do a lot of damage. Oh, can I make it? But um, it's good to get rid of them. In fact, a lot of this stuff does a lot of damage. If you've got the Oricon armor, you're okay, but. And I don't think there's any like secrets or anything here, too. Oh my god, stop. Guys, calm down. Uh, Manos again. Kabam! Alright, here we go. Dun, dun. This, the music in this whole game is really fantastic. I'm so, I'm honestly surprised it's, is it, it's as good as it is. Nice, one more I think, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. I wasn't even looking, it got into the screen. So it looked like my reaction time was terrible. I just stand here. I like how um, when you when you jump onto the thing, like Kuro, 
don't know if it actually animates it, but his goggles go on. <laughs> like, is that the whole reason you have goggles? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's something to do with Professor Jiro. I don't know. Oh, Triforce. Look, hang on. There, under my feet. And there's a Triforce. And it's gone. And uh, if I'm not mistaken... Oh no, that's probably just a ring. <laughs> I was going to say, if I'm not mistaken, that below... Well, it just went away now. It looks like the... Uh, it's at the bottom of the screen there. The Omega symbol from God of War, but it's probably not. Uh, go! Oh. That's pretty good. On the phone, it was really hard to do this. Even on like the easiest difficulty, it was difficult. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, is there any reason to break this one? Probably not. And I don't think I'm gonna have a chance to. Ah, fine. Oh god. Hang on. I'm gonna start taking a lot of damage. There we go. Hop, hop. Boom. Alright, I need more, like, health right now. Oh, gimme, give gimme. Give Come on, quick! Oh man, if Menos... You gotta be real quick on that, otherwise you run out of time. Give me that health back. Okay, so these little things, you can't actually... kill them, so you have to, like, navigate around them. Like these little mines. Oh gosh. Nice. Keep it going, keep it going. Good, ow. See, this level just keeps up. So far, what, we're up to about five minutes, six minutes actually. Okay. It's like, we're 10% of the way there. No, I'm kidding, we're about like 70%. Reminds me a little bit of um, Chrono Trigger as well in the... Oh! His name was Dolkin as well, wasn't it? Huh. Um, like one of the last bosses in Chrono Trigger was also called Dolkin. He's a cool, cool cat. He was a cool character from like, uh, the... I know Scala was someone. I think it might have been Magus's mother or something. Spoilers for a 25... no, 30 year plus old game. No, 20. Yeah, 20. Chrono Trigger was in the 80s, was it? I don't know. You'll see it on the screen. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was Dolkin, now that I think about it. Huh, that's cool. And you had to fight him two or three times. He was one of those, like, you know, joke bosses, in a way. It's not a joke in this game. Dolkin's a cool guy in this game. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, careful, careful, careful. Run! Mm, made it. Go, Menos! I guess I'm not going to show off all the abilities. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Oh, maybe I'll try to show it here. Come on, Menos. Quick, level 3, level 3, level 3. Level 3! Oh, that's epic. That was really cool. <laughs> Really? Oh god! Yep, I pressed the X button by accident. Oh well, now you get to see Velvet. One, two, level three. Oh wow! I even I haven't seen that one. <laughs> like I'm like I do not recall any of that. Come on! Ah! Ah! Yeah, if you let those snake guys survive too long, it becomes a real task to take them out. Come on, I want to see Fina's level 3 as well. In the present mode. Well, considering I died, we'll have like about... Say, I'll take like 30 seconds off the final time, but yeah. This is probably going to be 10 minutes. Come on. Oh, you can't even kill that guy, oh, can you? No, you can if you go here. I was like, because it's too far to the left. Get it. Get it. I'm so risky for no reason. 
Alright, Fiend is level 3. Freedom! Oh yeah, I've seen that one before. It's cool. Alright, we're nearly there. <laughs> it just keeps on going. Oh god, the health. Yep, okay, we're finally here. So yeah, you get to here and then I guess you just sort of stay here and keep pushing forward. And then he flies like slightly higher and then I actually can't remember what happens next. <laughs> it's like Sonic. Alright, here we go. What was that? I think we're losing altitude. You are not mistaken, this creature is descending. It's gonna crash! Man, that is so epic. That is like a friggin' like Dragon Ball Z scene right there almost. <laughs> um, Kuro, Fina, Menos, Velvet. What are you doing here? We came, well, we came to stop you from destroying time. Sorry, Ceres, but we can't let you do this. No, you don't understand. It must be done. In any case, there is no stopping it now. I have destroyed the Guardian's heart. He will crash, thus granting me access to the project. The project? What kind of project? You are not aware? Yet you've travelled to the Magi era, have you not? I must act quickly, lest Professor Jiro prevent me from destroying the project. Goodbye. Professor Jiro? But he's dead, isn't he? Apparently not. Look! The Guardian is falling! <laughs> Take away that stone armor, what are you? Giant worm. <laughs> Alright, now how does this work again? I remember this, but it's a pain in the ass to figure out how to actually progress. Look over there. Could that be the anomaly? How is that possible? Was it created by the crash of the Guardian? I saw an explosion when it crashed. It is probably what Ceres was talking about. Oh yeah, by the way, it was like 10 minutes, that bloody scenario. <laughs> Access to the project? It would be inside the anomaly. If that's true, we need to get there right now. We need to prevent Ceres from destroying time. I'm counting on you, Koro. All right, before we go there, there's something here now. After you, d you defeat the Guardian, if you come up here, yeah, there it is. You come up here and you land, you can walk over here to this thing, and this thing is really interesting. It's going to be completely useless to us now, but it is interesting beforehand. What is that? Did it fall from the Guardian? Let's say no. You know what, Koro? I think we could use this thing on the flying machine. You got a temporal module, a strange item apparently dropped by the Guardian. So... I wonder what it could be used for. Alright, so the temporal module, time shift module. When flying on the world map, use the ally switch controls to travel through time. Yeah, so basically, look, I, I know what I did, I, I know how I did my guide and everything. Maybe I should have done it differently. But essentially, now you can just press L1 to travel backwards in time. And R1 to travel forwards in time. And you can travel to all four time periods, including the land of, or the era of the Magi. Um, so if you were doing a speed run, um, you would essentially do, you know, everything you can possibly do to get to the end of the game as quickly as possible. Um, well, sorry, if you were doing a 100% speed run, you do everything you can, make sure you get everything that's, you know, not missable, and then, uh, sorry, everything that is missable, um, and then fight, or do that Guardian segment, grab the time shift module, and then enter the... Um, and then you could basically just go around and go, oh, okay, I need to be in the present here. So you press L1, you go to the present, then you, oh, now I need to be in the future. So it's quicker that way, but yeah, I, I chose to do it the way I chose to do it. All right, so I'm going to enter this. And uh, I can't remember exactly. I know I go into the anomaly, but then I th can't remember exactly what happens. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Hmm, this definitely wasn't here the last time we came this way. I'd swear it on my favorite ancient, ancient tome. Considering how much we've altered the timeline, I confess I no, long, I no longer have a clue. Anyway, that symbol is just like the one on the Stone of Time. Indeed. Stone of Time? 
to think I've dreamt of it for so long. Well, let's go search for it. If luck is in our favour, this will lead us to Ceres. We reach the end of our quest. If I remember correctly, we left it on the Cursed Isle. We did indeed. We left it on Cursed Isle in the future, so... We actually don't need to change the time period. Uh, but yeah, first we gotta go to the Cursed Isle so that we can get the Stone of Time. So let's quickly do that. Whee! I think this is actually gonna turn out quite okay. I'm gonna grab the Stone of Time. Doing so removes the staircase, which is kind of weird. Stone of Time placed on a pedestal only creates a staircase. It should allow us to travel through time. Travel through time! I didn't create the time machine. time machine for financial gain, I created the time machine to travel through time. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, so let's go back in here. I don't know if you have to enter it from the bottom, I just remember having a really tough time getting this anomaly to work. And entering it from the bottom seems to work all the time, so yeah. You probably don't. Alright, here we go. Okay, all the way to the bottom. Stone of Time. Oh, by the way, uh, the temporal module goes there uh, above the key and on the right of the flying machine. You can see the little icon. That's why that one was greyed out for so long. A portal. Kuro, quick. I still don't get why Ceres is doing all this, but we have to stop her either way. Mega Clink. Remember that Ceres, is pa uh, Ceres possesses the weapon's power. I don't believe we shall dissuade her without a direct confrontation. Be prepared to fight. Surely Ceres has her reasons to do what she's doing, don't you think, Kuro? Uh, yeah. Perhaps we'd better be better off staying out of it. Alright, cool. So now because this is the end, um, I think it's gonna take me... Well, I don't think it'll take me a full 20 minutes to get through, like, the ending sequence and the credits and everything that I want to say. So I think I'll end the episode here and we'll do one more and uh, then we'll be done with this, because obviously I did get the Platinum last time, but this is now just showing off the, the story of the game finishing up. So for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 73 of Let's Platinum Evil Land Legendary Edition. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.